KGUN 9 on your side first warning weather with meteorologist Aaron Brackett. We're in one of the driest times here in southern Arizona. Look what they're dealing with, though, in parts of central Texas. The San Antonio area hit with about 10 inches of rain in just 24 hours. And, you know, central Texas drainage isn't exactly up to the task. Major flooding happening out there. And uh, unfortunately, a little bit more rain could still fall. Let's get to the radar here and take a look at what exactly they were dealing with. You can see a big complex of showers and thunderstorms. This is a 18 hour loop right here. I do believe this continues over central Texas and another round of rain likely to move in a little bit later on tonight. We'll continue to watch these uh, folks and what they're dealing with here in the desert southwest, though. A different story, although our weather will be changing a little bit breezy as we look toward your Sunday, an area of low pressure moving in off to the north. This is going to be a slow mover, very weak too, but it will influence our weather as we head toward the middle portion of the week, certainly turning temperatures down. And there's a very, very slight chance that we could get a couple drops out of the sky. So tomorrow, as far as wind speeds are concerned, 10 to 20 miles per hour off toward the northern areas and right along the border, a little bit higher wind gusts over Pima and Santa Cruz County. Not good news for the extinguishing phase of that fire in Santa Cruz County, just off to the east of Nogales. Hopefully, though, we'll keep those wind gusts to a minimum. 95 degrees right now at TIA. You can see a little bit of a gust out there, moving the tree branches around in uh, the Tucson area. Westerly winds at 14 officially. You can see that humidity, 3%. Very, very dry out there. A dew point of just six. So there's the water vapor imagery. You can see a very weak disturbance moving north of Phoenix, and that'll maybe bring a couple clouds just in time for sunset. That really starved of moisture at the surface, though, so we're not going to see much consequence from that. As we go ahead and zoom in a little bit closer, looking at temperatures right now, it's 99 in Casa Grande, 97 in Phoenix. Those higher end clouds likely holding the temperature down just a couple degrees for those folks. Mid 80s in Sierra Vista, right around 91 in Douglas. Comfortable night tonight, though, in Cochise County. We'll get to those temperatures in a bit. Look at the dryness, though. Humidity, single digits, pretty much everywhere across the area. Futurecast is going to hold things dry as we go through the next 24 hours. You do see those clouds from that weak disturbance largely passing off to the north. We could see a couple early tomorrow morning. However, I do think this view is overdoing it just a little bit. I'm going to keep mostly sunny skies for the near term. So 65 tonight in Tucson, 56 in Sierra Vista. We also see middle 50s in Wilcox. Very comfortable temperatures, a little bit warmer though in the lower deserts. Pretty much a carbon copy of what we had last night here in Tucson. Clear, mild, Couple degrees above average, pretty typical weather, all things concerned. Southeasterly wind at 5 to 10. For tomorrow, 96, near average. We'll take things maybe a degree or so less than today. I was looking at the observations. We topped out at 97 so far at TIA. So we'll turn it down a degree or so at the end of the day tomorrow. 90 in Sierra Vista, 92 in Wilcox. We see middle 70s in Sholo. And your seven day forecast now shows that cooling trend going forward toward the middle of the week, 88. That sure sounds nice to me. I've turned the rain chances down just a little bit. It looks like we're going to stay dry. Still, though, we'll take the cooler weather, and that is a triple digit on Saturday. 100 degrees as we finally warm up. That could be the first of 2013. Nine your side at five. We'll be right back.